friends today we will look at jk cement with reference to its q3 fi24 results let us look at the management sushil devi singhania is the chairperson <coughs> raghav up singhania is the managing director <coughs> ajay kumar saraogi is the deputy managing director and cfo nidhipati singhania is the vice chairman madhav krishna singhania is the deputy managing director and ceo <coughs> so jk cement is a singhania controlled enterprise doing well reasonably well <coughs> now first let us take a look at the latest quarterly results q3 <coughs> net sales is 2935 crores previous quarter 2753 crores year ago quarter 2433 crores so there is a, a year on year increase of 20.65% and quarter on quarter increase of 6.61% it's reasonably good net sales improvement 6.61% quarter on quarter and 20.65% year on year is reasonably good course raw material costs also have increased by 13.37% year on year and 3% quarter on quarter other things okay <clears throat> then uh, let us go to net profit <clears throat> of course tax has increased uh, significantly from 32 crores uh, last year q3 to 125 crores this year q3 290% increase uh, year on year and uh, 90% increase quarter on quarter tax after tax net profit has come to 284 crores in q3 fi24 and 178 crores in q2 that is previous quarter and just 37 crores last year q3 so there is a very impressive improvement of 664% year on year and 59% quarter on quarter so both sales and net profits have increased very significantly equity is 77.27 uh, percent sorry 77.27 crores eps is 36.73 against 4.81 only in uh, q3 of last year and 23 in q2 of this year so basic eps also has increased uh, just like net profits 664% year on year and 59% quarter on quarter current price is around 4167 now a 52 week uh, high is 4240 which means it is very, the current price is very near to the 52 week high price volumes are reasonable so buying selling etc is easy now let us also take a look at uh, the last five years results total income now is 9720 crores that is uh, latest year fi23 fi22 7991 crores fi21 6606 crores fi20 5802 crores and uh, uh, fi19 5259 crores so every year the total income has been almost uh, sales only uh, total income has been improving uh, reasonably well now net profit net profit has not been improving uh, like that the latest year 419 crores against its previous year 679 crores against its previous year 703 crores of course earlier it was uh, slightly less but previous two years have been much more than uh, the latest year that is march 23 so cement companies have been like that probably because of covid effect maybe equity 77.27 uh, crores 
basic EPS is latest year 55.17 against 87.9 in the previous year, 90.99 is previous years. Of course, latest five quarters are good. Previous two years were much more. That is what I am stressing. Will it equal uh, the highest? That is uh, uh, 2021. Will it in, uh, increase to that level in the current year? Let us see. Uh, uh, the price uh, momentum has been reasonably good. It has been going up. Uh, trailing 12 months EPS growth is very good. High Piotrowski score. <coughs> Good quarterly growth in the recent results, net profit uh, uh, and uh, uh, net profit margin both are increasing uh, quarter on quarter. Profits have been increasing in past four quarters, but we have seen previous two years were much much more than the late, latest year March 23, and uh, current quarters are good. <coughs> Book value has been improving. Zero promoter split that's very good. Promoter spread is zero. FIIs are increasing their uh, shareholding. <coughs> Mutual funds have decreased their shareholding last quarter. Then ROCE, ROE and ROA all are declining in the last two years. <coughs> Annual net profit we have seen that also has been dec uh, decreasing in the last two years. Will it increase during the current year is the question that we have to see. But uh, last uh, five, five quarters it has been increasing. <coughs> Brokers have given better recommendations. Now in the last five quarters it has been uh, performing very strongly. Face value is uh, 10 rupees. Uh, so the EPS etc is good against that. All time high is 4240. Therefore, uh, current price is very near to that. It may touch 4240 very easily. Uh, <coughs> price to book is 6.88. It is uh, somewhat high, uh, unhealthily high. Price to book uh, has to come down. How will it come down? Book value has to improve. I am not saying that price should come down. Book value should uh, uh, increase. Price curve was flat up to November. <coughs> like that. From November, it is moving up like this. So, analyst rating is, uh, they say it is likely to outperform in the quarters to come. Shareholding pattern is promoters uh, shareholding has decreased from 45.8 to 45.7 in the latest quarter. Uh, mutual funds have decreased their holding from 23 to 22.62. FIAs have increased their holdings from 14.4 to 15.25. Institutional investors have also increased their holdings from 38.65 to 39.65. Now, another parameter that we, uh, I look at is how was the price performing in the last three years. In the last one week, 4.31% increase, one month, 10.19% increase, three months, 34.74% increase. In the last three months, it was good. In the last one year, 57.94 increase, three years, 96 increases. So, it was not a multi beggar. <coughs> The price now also is very high. So, JK Cement is a good performer, whether, but whether it will be a multi bagger, that I doubt uh, because the price is already very high unless it performs very, very well, like the past two years. It should perform better than those last two years, then only it will become a multi bagger. Mm -hmm. So, that is my assessment. Uh, I will, of course, it's a good uh, stock. The, among the seven companies, it is performing. That is why the price is now very high. Hmm? So let us see how it performs during the next uh, uh, few quarters. Uh, will it Im improve its value over the previous two years? I am not talking about the March 23 year. 
Thank you for listening. I will be back with you with another very good company, which means JK Cement also is a very good company.